delightful, energetic, charismatic entrepreneur. He is always into and up to something in a good way. Mm -hmm. He is 14 years old. He has a new single out called Lemonade Juice. Woo woo. Woo woo. His <laughs> stage name is Little Liddy. So you can check him out on iTunes or all the streaming platforms. He's also on YouTube. He's got a hot video on YouTube. He is my one and only, will always be my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Raven. All right. Hey. Woo -woo. Little Liddy. Little Liddy. Now, little, now, what's so funny, just hearing him talk, he used to be so shy in church. Right. He never really would say anything. So just listening to you just like coming out of your comfort zone is like awesome to me. Mm -hmm. So how, first of all, how did you come up with the name Little Liddy? Or Liddy? Um, well, I get lit a lot, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's what it is. I'm lit. So lit. they call me Little Liddy. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Now, reading your story. Being old like me, lit doesn't mean the same thing. As <laughs> yeah, I thought, you know, yeah. You know, that's in a good way. You yeah, know. that's in a good way. So uh, you started off, I was reading some of your bio, that you used to sell lemonade. Mm -hmm. Share share that. What made you come up with that idea, and how was that working for you? Uh, well, I used, to, um, I used to do car washes with my friend Teron, and then... One day we just got tired of it, and then we had, we had some lemonade in the backyard. We did did the whole process, made some lemonade, and we just sold it, and we just start kept doing that for like a year. So you were selling it like in front of the house, or yeah, we we did that for like a year, and then we started making clothes. That's when we made like a whole company and stuff. So, oh, so, so you so started he, making clothes. So he did like yeah. Trump, and he went bankrupt, and he just kept on rolling. <laughs> <laughs> when they were on one bit, started another one. Kept right on rolling. Didn't, didn't miss right, a beat. from car wash, yeah. lemonade, and yeah. stand. Uh, outfit. <laughs> <laughs> outfit selling. Just like that. <laughs> Trump did it. Why can't he do it? That's what I'm talking about. So you about. tied him you, you tied him out of soul? Well, he's, his is more um, like urban wear. Mm -hmm. So it's more like shirts, T-shirts, sweats, um, that kind of stuff. And it's branded clothing. Basically. Oh wow, that's cool. Well, that's interesting about dressing. I'm not you know, going to take up this time, but my uh, daughter, she's a she's a fashion designer, and the clothes that sometimes I see some of our folks wear is like, that's just one piece. What are you with? Just just one little thing. What ain't she gonna cut more on it? Or something? So I'm just saying, when you say urban wear, I'm like, ain't much too urban wear. <laughs> leave, almost back like Adam and Eve. Just get a leave and go for yourself. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, I'm sorry. I had to throw that in there for me. <laughs> old school. Old school. <laughs> uh, oh, face face be your whole outfit, huh? Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, how did you? So, you went from car wash mm -hmm. to making lemonade, making lemonade. to clothes, mm -hmm. and then now you're just like a, a, a YouTube uh, hip hop star. Yes. Yeah. So, Rapper. so did you? Who else influenced you in music? Um, like right now. Mm -hmm. Um. His name is XXX Um What 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 was that? Uh, What's his name? XXX Tentacion. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He won't ever be on my show here. I can't say that name for <laughs> sure. Uh, we have to put up a uh, sign. So <laughs> and who else? Um, Ski Mask. Uh, I like I like J Cole. I like I like a lot of people. So are yeah. you more into the underground yeah. rap? Is yeah. that what it is? Yeah, because um, you said um, uh, Ski Mask? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of that guy. So he's he's really good. He's good really, really good. Ski mm -hmm. Mask. Oh. Yeah, the slum guard, right? Him? Yeah, he would know him. So that's not underground, is it? It oh. kind of well, is. Because you know him, but like, he one time we were at the bank and he was like, oh my God, this, da, 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 da. and I was like, who is that? He's from LA? <laughs> <laughs> he's from LA? Yeah, the kid was from LA and, oh. and he knew him. Like he knew him, like his face, and he apparently he was famous, like more underground. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I've never even heard of him. And then one day he was listening to music. He goes, "Remember that guy we saw at the bank? That's him." And I was like, "Oh, he's pretty good." Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, ski so, man. Okay, okay. Ski man and kick, kick, kick. What his name was that earlier? So, so, so how did you get into? Yeah, yeah. So how did you get into to writing? Oh, uh, writing. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, 
one day, I just, I just started, I just started, like, cause one day I was with my friends and we were all like just like freestyling, and then I just, we just started writing stuff, cause I guess we wanted, we were going to make a song, but it never happened. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I started writing that one day, and then ever since that day, I just you kept got writing. the buzz. So it's kind of like so you found a talent that you didn't realize. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. and then we've we we've also collaborated with um uh a music production company, Calvary Records, and um I guess we were sitting with them one day. No, we actually we we were on our way somewhere. We happened to see them. Well we know them, but we didn't know what they did. That mm -hmm. was like the weirdest thing. Mm -hmm. And so we, we were talking, I was saying, Yeah, we're we're trying to put together, we were telling them what we were doing. They were like, Yeah, we do that. So I was like, For real? For <laughs> <laughs> real though. <laughs> really? so, so we had a couple of meetings, um, they played us some music and um and then we, you know, we we, we got in the studio and there you have it. Wow. Now, who told you you could rap, though, bro? I mean, it just, you, you, I mean, rapping is not the easiest thing to do. Some, everybody thinks they can, but it's not like that. It's not. It's you not got to know how to breathe. You got to know how to flow. Mm -hmm. You got to know how to put the rhyme. Yeah, you got to do it. It's a lot more to it yeah. than just getting up yeah. there and, and doing it. So, yeah. what, who, who told you? What did you feel in yourself to think that you could rap? I mean, I think I can do a lot of things. Oh, I mean, there you I, go. That's your mama there. Okay. Mama there. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I, I just, I just think I did, so I just, I think I could, so I tried it. Okay. Yeah. That's a good okay. enough answer, because it's working. Now, yeah. I, you know, I I had my grandson listen to the song, and and uh, what did you say, boss? You said it's all right, but yeah, it's a good song. All right. All right. So, you know, kids, that's they going to hear the truth. That's a nine-year-old. Yeah. And he will speak the truth, trust me. Yeah. He put his mom, threw his mama under the bus way there, I'm sure. <laughs> so, he don't he said, care. He can't come on the show no more. <laughs> 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 But you know, I listen to the song. We're gonna listen to it again too. And I, right. I'm gonna listen to the song. Then I'm gonna make a comment about it. I have a comment about it. Yeah, I like the video. The video. Yeah, was the good. video is really, really I got good. Something I want to talk to. I want to ask you a question about something. <laughs> so, so have you have you done any shows or anything, or um, any performances, or just been in the studio? Yeah. Okay. okay. And then, how much do you practice your art? Uh. Almost every day. That's good. That's a good thing. Because it, it takes a lot, a lot of practice. Have you been watching the rap game? That's going to be your homework. All right. That's going to be your homework. Look at the rap game. It's a TV show that comes on with, um, dang, I forgot his name. Um, uh, oh, Jermaine, Dupree. Jermaine Dupree. Jermaine Dupree. And it's really good. And take yourself through those processes that they have them go. And you never know that that video has been pulling up a lot of momentum. So, mm -hmm. and they really go by how many people are watching, and that's how they choose their people. Now, this this season here, I don't know where they got these people yeah. from because it, it's not really. Is some of those people on there are not as seasoned at the last two right. that they've had, and I'm like, how did you choose was, them? Like, yeah, I, I thought about that too because the way he picks the. Uh, uh, the kids is, you know, through uh, uh, internet sensations, mm -hmm. you know, who had the most hits, you know, and stuff like that. But looking at it is very interesting, too, because things that you just don't realize to come up with a song and have it memorized in two days. Mm -hmm. And that's the real world of yes, entertainment. Yeah, really mm -hmm. So awesome. if you're not that good at memorizing, you can write a rap and it takes you a long time to get it down and all of that, you're not going to it's not going to work for you in the business. Mm. So. Well, can we go to the, to the, to the, to the, to the Yes, song? we can. Because I want to listen to it because I want to hear juice. and I want to ask my question Lemonade about juice. it. Lemonade juice. Lemonade juice. Oh, ooh, and, uh, ooh. I know he's going to try to twerk. <laughs> Glenn don't We're twerking skills. No, we don't twerk. See, no Glenn way. don't like to be seen on on the radio. He don't like to be seen. He just because call, he calls himself the most interesting man in the world. So he I am interesting. Man. <laughs> when you see my slideshows on Instagram, what my guy do? You always see me at the beginning and the end. I am the most interesting person in the world. Oh, but he doesn't want to be seen. That you no, we don't need to see me. You don't need to see me. Just listen to what I say. Oh, okay. okay. So we're gonna go to his song. Uh, you want to bring the song? Oh, well, wait a minute. Where'd you get inspired to do the song? I mean, the video. The song video. Because he where? used to make lemonade. Now, no, will you let me playing. ask him that question? I'm just playing. You made get put off this boat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what made you want to do the song? I know you did lemonade, but what made you say, I'm going to do a song about lemonade? You and your partner uh -huh. did that? Came up with that idea? Yeah. Y'all drank too much sugar that day or something? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's do a song on that. No, now how hard was it doing that song? I mean, how long did it take you to write that song, the words and stuff for it? Uh, like two and a half days. Really? Oh, wow. Okay. And you, the video probably took longer than that to do, didn't it? Oh yeah, because we <laughs> have to we have to like make a script for the video. Wow. So, yeah. You learned the game real. You learned the game real fast. So how long did it take to do the video? Well, we'll talk about that after. Oh, we did. Okay, we're gonna bring the song up now. Uh, the name of the song is what, honey? Lemonade juice. Lemonade juice. Lemonade juice. Okay, we'll be back here with right after the song Lemonade Juice here on God's Hot Spot with a Z. Don't get that twisted. Where we're giving you radio. The way it should be. Yeah, it should be just like that. That was nice, y'all. I'm gonna give you credit. <laughs> lemonade juice, lemonade juice, lemonade juice, lemonade juice, lemonade juice, lemonade juice, lemonade juice. Oh, yeah, lemonade juice, 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 oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're back here on the Accelerator Radio with God's Hot Spot. What is he? Don't get that twisted. Well, you got all to say now. Tequila. <laughs> Who bring you artists the way it should be? Okay. <laughs> Crystal had to jump out. Okay, yeah. we're back. That was. I like that song. I like that song. Now here's my thing. Though I'm watching the video. Uh, what are lemonade juice at? I don't see no lemonade juice. Didn't you see people with cups in their hands? Yeah. And I didn't see no Did you see the principal? <laughs> Let him off the hook because he has I'm out of here. Hand. Okay, no, I didn't see <laughs> no, Because my concentration is not like that. I'm, I'm more of a, vi- a listener. Uh, so when I did look up, I never saw it. I was just asking, you know, but I think I like the song. I like the song. Like so it. are you are you signed? Are you looking for a label? Or how's that now? Because the me. music industry is so different now. Really? Yeah. Back in the day, I'm 46. Back in the day, everybody was trying to shop and get signed on with a label. Now it's more about doing your own thing, getting your own music out there. So where are you at with that right now? Um, okay. I'm look. I'm still looking. Well, I was. We, well, basically, yeah. we're um, we're putting an album together, and we're we. You know, if somebody came along with with uh, a reasonable offer that's not going to make turn him into a slave right of then, course then you know then you know we would all we would look at it but for the most part we're just really about the music really about just putting together quality songs um quality videos and just just on about like clean music yes that's the one thing that um that i have a thing for you know what i'm saying like you know something that you can jam to that hasn't got a lot of cuss words or things about people's genitalia yeah. in there and all that kind of stuff that's because some of the songs that are out are oh, so bomb mm-hmm. like the you know everything but then when you actually listen to the lyrics you go oh gosh yes, yeah exactly. you know what i'm saying so yeah. that's the that's the main thing um you know but i mean what i can say about this song is that i mean it's it's, it's very good especially um because he's not trying to act like he's older than what he is right, right. you know it's a fun it's age appropriate teenage song right exactly. you know that a lot of teenagers can definitely mm-hmm. relate to and um you know and, and, it's, and it's a good song as well 
Yeah. Yeah, it was on the on the rap game, there's a young girl on there who's 13 years old. Mm -hmm. And her feedback keeps being, you look older than you are. Yeah. And you're doing lyrics that don't even, I mean, you don't ride a Range Rover. You know, you don't have <laughs> right. to. Right. So, so be true to yourself. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And in your writing, be true to yourself. Try to uh, write songs that's relatable to your age group, whether it be things that you guys are going through growing up as a teenager, you know, something that young people can relate to, but it's still hip hop and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, and then, and I always tell people a winning song always has a winning hook. Mm -hmm. So your lemonade juice, that's a winning hook. Mm -hmm. So when you're doing your writing, make sure you get a hook that's catchy, catchy mm -hmm. hook. you know, and also look at um, the new show, The Four. Have you been watching that? Okay, you got homework to do. You got homework to do. Because it really teaches you about the business and what executors are looking for. Um, there was one guy in there, he just did a straight rap. It didn't have a hook or nothing. Even though he won, his energy level kept it. But the other guy was kind of down on his game, and that's what made the other guy win. Mm -hmm. But they told him, got to get a hook. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? If you listen to any winning song... It has a winning hook. That that part that, that keeps repeating, you know, that's what you call a hook. So mm -hmm. your lemonade yeah. juice is mm -hmm. a hook. Mm -hmm. So you always want to have a winning hook. People may not remember the whole song, but they'll remember that hook. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of the lines in the song is, tell them girls leave me alone, because um, <laughs> he's had some challenges with um, people, females. Getting I know, like, that's right. You know. I know. Don't tell me. It's, it's a little scary now, Tay. Yeah, I you know. mean, it's, it's scary because of the age of mm -hmm. some of them and the things yeah, that yeah, he got the to things be. that they're coming out with. Mm -hmm. I'm like, OMG. Mm -hmm. You know. But you have to. Blame it on technology too, because you know when we was younger, we couldn't. You know, we got on a computer. It wasn't like the computer that they have nowadays. You know what I mean? You know, we get on the computer, do homework or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and stuff like that. But nowadays, you know, you it's can so open. just yeah. at your fingertips, you can find anything out that you want to. You yeah. know, and you got to look at that aspect. What I wanted to ask you was, um, so how's it? So you, what grade are you in? I'm in ninth. Ninth Freshman grade. Year. Okay, so you're in high school, right? Freshman. Mm -hmm. Right, so how was it? How's the feedback, um, you know, at your school, as far as you know, uh, your song, uh, the music you put out? Well, like the kids know, but like the adult, well, well, but yeah, yeah. but as long as you, I'm talking about your peers, you know, the kids within what the are school. They saying about it? So you kind of like more of a celebrity to them, or or they look up to you, or um, hating, you know. but they hating. Uh, nah, for I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how is that? He just you feel like they treat you extra special? Nah, because you have a song out, so it's okay. Because this new not generation, because back in the yet. day, look at back in the day, if you came out with a song, any song, you was it. You was you used to be. Yeah. They, they, they still probably talk know. about it to this day. <laughs> well, bro, in yeah. a minute, in a minute, bro, your whole, all of your, I know this is a fact, all of your friends will change in a minute. They will. I know. <laughs> they going to change. They gonna, and when you hit that, you're doing them shows and whatnot, you're going to be having so many people want to get tickets and mm. this and that. You want to get the hook the up. girls going to be, like you said, mm -hmm. it's going, you got to grow with everything. I tell everybody, anything you do in life, you have to grow and talk about it. If you're getting a job and you get a promotion, you need to talk about it with your spouse and your family. I'm getting to get more, more money and whatnot because you have to understand, as you grow, things are going to change and you got to be ready for that change. If not, that's why a lot of people, I believe, don't make it because you ain't ready for the change. But the only, the, the, the best thing and advice probably anybody can give you, do not have kids until you reach your dreams. Right. <laughs> any dream you have, reach it before you even think about any right. kids. Right. That's what my mom told us too. Yeah. Okay. I got you. And I, I'll say this. Other than God, I got some dream that person right there over to your left is the next best thing in your life, bro. Yeah. No matter what she may say, you may not like, I'm going to tell you just as a man and her being your mother, respect anything that she says because she's only doing it for her, for your good. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can't tell even if you don't like it still mm -hmm. sit down let me think about this then and pray on it because that, other than God that's the next best thing to you because she mm -hmm. ain't gonna never let you down mm -hmm. that's even right. you do it's your worst she's gonna be right there with God helping you get through it mm -hmm. yeah. so, we're gonna go so anyway some parting words for everybody out there what would you like to tell people uh, today from your your world that you live in you have to believe 100% in yourself I believe in God, and I know people say, oh, whatever, but he's never failed me, and I've always been able to talk to him 
I say that you should start to look at the good parts of yourself because everyone's got good and bad parts. You've got to look at the good parts of yourself. You've got to figure out, you've literally got to have a planning session with yourself. Mm -hmm. And you've got to look at your strengths and your weaknesses. You've got to look at where you want to go, what you're trying to do. And you've got to plot it out. And then you've got to, that's, that's going to be like your blueprint. And then you've got to, you've got to make it happen. Mm -hmm. And you don't look to the right and you don't look to the left. You just keep every day taking a step in the direction of where you want to go and what you want to do. And as for self, um, remember the positive things that people have said about you. And if you have to write them down, or the positive things you think about yourself, if you have to write them down and put them in a, in a place that you can see every day because you have to be reminded, because someone's going to come along or something's going to come mm -hmm. along and knock you back down. So you've got to have a, a daily remembrance of who you are, and that will stand you in good stead. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yep, that's why you're looking at me, bro. You're next. Parting words, what do you want to say to everybody out there? Uh, just to believe in yourself and uh, be humble and brave. Don't, don't back down. Just okay, I ain't mad at you about that. And where can we get your music from? Where's it at? Uh, how can uh, I listen to it now? Apple Music and Spotify and YouTube. I iTunes. Yeah. You're everywhere, just about. Every stream everywhere. platform on the planet. What's the name of your group? Uh, or, is, or is it just you? It's just me. Okay. Little hmm. little. You looking to take on anybody else, baby, down the road? Yeah, he's the Lemonade Millionaires. <laughs> okay. Well, we ain't we mad. We Do you sing too? Just right. Mm. <laughs> Oh, that was a laugh. We'll leave the manager has spoken over there. Manager. That'll be next year. <laughs> and, and, and Lillian, you are his manager right now? I that... sure am, yes. Momager. Okay. Momager. Okay, I got you. I no got one's going to protect my baby like me. Mm -hmm. That's right. But you know what I'm going to say this to you. It may happen, it may not happen. But down the road, down the road, down we're going to part down the road. I tell everybody it's because it happened with me and Crystal because, you know, Crystal saying I want to be her manager but it didn't work out that way because we kept bumping heads. When she get, we got a certain age. I'm saying when you get a certain age, yeah. sometimes then you don't have to be the manager because you're his mother. Right, exactly. And, and, and you can let him get a manager, but he's always going to serve his mother. So most of it is still going to come through you anyway Yeah. because he should be that kind of guy. I know we're going to make him be that, right. but your mom is still going to be which whether you got a manager or not. So I'm just throwing that yeah, out there. No, and, and I totally agree with you. Yeah. I, I mean, when, when he's under a certain age, he's my legal responsibility. Yeah. Correct. So... Therefore, I will be his momager manager. But when he gets of age, then, you know. He ain't going to forget you because it's already in him. It's already yeah. in him. Well, you can do, I mean, he's free to do what he wants to yeah, do. Yeah, of course. I, I would want him to do what he wants to do and not be like, oh, mom, you know, I have to do it because it's my mom. But he should do because he wants to. And if he doesn't, it's, it, I'm okay. Yeah. Too. But I think what, what, what I, I'm, you're saying, because that's what I feel too, you can still, he'll respect your opinion. Right. And he'll at least hear what your side of it right, is. Right, so right, if right. his way doesn't work, he said, oh, let me go do it like my mama said there because yeah. it works there. That's what I respect. And mm -hmm. a lot of managers and parents that don't understand that, mm -hmm. they'll hang in there and hang in there. And you're killing no. your child. You're smothering no. your child. No. No. But I got that. No. Okay. Casey, closing word. No, you ain't got no closing words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my closing words. Um, like I said, believe in yourself. Um, don't wait around. You know, if there's something that you want to do, um, mm -hmm. you know, just do it. Stop talking about it and do it. Be about it. And then Be also, and also, um, you know, also keep in mind of uh, they, they do have dream killers out there as well. Mm. So do not let anyone kill your dream. He's known as going around here and there to see who he can devour. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's his job. Quickly. Quickly. Yeah. Well, honey. We ain't got enough hours in this show. That's a problem. I just want to say, just with what Kay said, believe in yourself. Don't wait for somebody to do something for you. You know, you have to uh, go for your dreams yourself. Um, Karen White, she did her first featured movie. She didn't wait for somebody to say, I want to give you a movie deal. You know, I'm doing my music. I'm doing movies. I'm getting ready to do some movies, some productions. I'm just doing it because that's my love. So whatever, don't let your circumstances, one, define you. And don't let your circumstances or people around you keep you off your focus, off your game, whether it be a relationship, whether it be your friends. Because when you notice, if you're not doing your craft, that means you're not being focused. Mm -hmm. So be focused. You got to work on your craft. And it's going to be some sleepless nights. Yep. 
you know, some tired times and sometimes you're not going to be able to spend time with your boo. You're not going to have time to spend with your friends because you got to work on your craft mm-hmm. if that's what you really want to do. Anyway, Whoa, Lillian. I Woo, hey, I got a little dark in here. What the no, hell? Dark? That? There's a lot of light in here. There's a lot of light in here. Hey, let's skip you next time, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> no, <man. laughs> well, you know what? You're going to get on that rowboat. You're going to get on my boat. My boat is my boat has engines and everything. You want to row? I get to row. We're going to close out a new thing. <laughs> we got a couple you. songs to play going out. Can, so, can I go ahead. Oh, yeah, yes, go right in. Oh, tell us about your classes, too. Yes, uh, so uh, if you can go to lillianravenclothing.com mm. and you you can schedule your own classes and buy your own classes online and we do uh, group classes three times a week and we also do private uh, lessons we come to you or you come to the studio oh, uh, and how much does the class run or can you sh- share that or uh, is it individually uh, it's individual oh, okay. the studio is out here in LA yeah it's in the Park. park okay. oh I don't know I'm always over there I don't know you was over there yeah. I'm going to come check you out there okay. and you why don't you plug for your sister too because she's getting around in town you don't mind giving your sister a yeah, plug yeah uh, my, my sis my little sis Fina <laughs> Athena Aruche, she's an actress, a model, and um, she's currently working on, um, well, she's just done a tour, uh, a one-woman show, and um, the name of it's just gone completely out of my head. I'm sorry, we won't we'll hold it to yeah, yeah, so she's, um, she's out there, I want to just say hey to my family, my friends, and everybody who's listening, thanks for listening. Okay, right. any parting words, uh, Shay? <laughs> well, I caught you on that word, Dr. Yeah. 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 Any party words, Dr. Yeah. 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 One word. <laughs> Shout out to everybody. Um, you, you guys are very inspiring. Thank oh, you for coming man. on the show. Thanks. Oh, that was right. right. oh, yeah. yeah. that's, that's worth a million dollars. Right. Yeah. You don't say nothing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.